In war, you'd probably feel good knowing that the weapon you're carrying is better than the one you're up against. In darkest of days, you may almost feel bad looking through the tactical side of a fully automatic battle rifle and hosing down enemies trying to reload their single-shot muskets. Time travel turns out to be a highly effective way to achieve superior firepower. Darkest of Days isn't aiming to be the next big-budget blockbuster first-person shooter, but an interesting concept that blends historical battles and weapons with ultra-modern equalizers certainly has its appeal. As the game begins, you find yourself facing annihilation alongside the rest of General Kester's troops at the Battle of Little Bighorn. Just as you're about to meet your end, a portal opens up and a guy in a futuristic suit pulls you in. Congratulations, you're alive and employed in the service of an organization called Chronotech. Your job description involves preserving history by keeping historical VIPs alive and making sure the right side wins the right battles in the right wars. Someone has been screwing with the space-time continuum lately, so you and your new partner will have plenty of work ahead of you. Being from the future definitely gives you a leg up when it comes to military hardware, but you'll often have to fight with the tools at hand so as not to attract too much attention while you sniff out your objectives. In the Civil War, you'll get your hands on muskets, six-shooters, and the surprisingly effective Henry rifle. World War I offers slightly more advanced options like the Mauser C-96 and the Mosin Nagin service rifle. Whether you're in World War I, World War II, or way back in 79 AD, you'll find a few different options that'll let you blend in and do your part. But when push comes to shove, you'll get clearance to bring out the big guns and perform what your colleague refers to as numerical adjustment. You'll rack up quite a body count in the name of historical fidelity, but you don't need to kill everyone you come across. Individuals marked with a blue aura have a role to play on the historical stage. If you manage to disable them by shooting their limbs or tossing futuristic glowing marbles called chasers at them, you'll be rewarded back at the base with upgrade points. Killing too many of these guys will have certain consequences. Even though the concept is pure sci-fi, it's clear the darkest of days tries to present relatively realistic settings. The proprietary engine may not rival recent AAA shooters out there, but the game can handle a huge number of characters fighting on each side. You'll also have to follow your commander's orders from time to time, exposing you to tactics that feel pretty far removed from modern warfare. The game's concept has us intrigued, but the fate of this time-traveling tale of war across the ages has yet to be written. Check in with GameTrailers.com early next month to find out if Darkest of Days will be more than a footnote in our full review. Thank <laughs> you.